Hey everyone, it's Big Z, and welcome back to Undertale. Okay, so I figured out the puzzle here. It actually didn't take that long, I just kind of sat here and looked at the screen and figured out what path I wanted to take. So yeah, it just took a little pre-planning to do. Ta-da! Are you guys impressed? No? Okay. Oh, what's going on? A little house hat and snow bubbles it looks like bubble wrap I love it oh I can't move oh what are you oh it's a little puppy it, it's a little puppy in the snow bubble oh shit you're not little <laughs> oh you're not a little you're you're a biggin you are a biggin should I back in the big in? You call to the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flecking slobber into your face. Oh, and you don't even want to fight. You just want to take a nap. Okay, that's good. You take your nap. Naps are very important. Trust me, I need one a day. Curled up in your lap as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable, it falls asleep. Z. Then it wakes up. Oh, it's so excited. I'm in love with this. Oh, oh okay. All right. You don't want to hurt me either, do you, Vegan? I'm going to call you Vegan. I don't even know if that's a name, but I'm going to call the dog Vegan. <laughs> Greater dog's excitement is creating a power field that prevents petting. Aww. Do you want me to play with you? Is that what it is? Let's try playing. Yeah! Make a snowball and throw it. Splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. It rests his head on you. Oh, you're so- Ow! Hey! Oh, it's okay. We'll give you some TLC. I'm okay. It was only five points. Tis but a scratch. Your movement's slow. But you still haven't pet enough. You are so cute, and I love this music. This part especially. Pet capacity is 40%. That was easy. <laughs> Ow! Oh, come on! You're contented, so I can spare you now. Your name's yellow, so I should be able to spare you. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you're giving me kisses! Okay, bye, Biggin. Bye-bye. Your little butt's waving bye-bye. Alright, so what's across the long bridge of longness? Of course, Papyrus. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold the gauntlet of deadly terror. Can I have the puppy on the string? When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will violently swing up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because... I am about to do it. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm I'm about to activate it now. Papyrus, are you having performance anxiety? That uh doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. And my traps are <laughs> expertly cooked. But this method is too direct, no class at all. Away it goes. Papyrus, if you're having performance anxiety, just tell me. It happens to everyone. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Well, before.
before we continue, I want to go down the other path and see what's down that- Ooh? Who was that? What was that? You're not fooling me this time. I know I saw something. Fool me once with sands, shame on you. Fool me twice with whatever the frick that was, shame on me. I'm really sad these are called- I mean, I'm not really sad these are called snow pops, but part of me was kinda hoping they were called snow bubbles. Poff is cute too. I could see how they could go with Poff. Oh. Oh hey, how's it going? I'm just passing through. A gift trot. Or depending on who you ask, a gif trot. Don't put any more wood on you. Oh jeez. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Oh, okay. I didn't mean to do that. I don't want to fight these guys. I know. Fine, I'll leave you alone. Ah. I don't want to fight them, but now that we're on normal mode, I'm scared that, like, I'm going to get in a fight and I'm going to get my butt handed to me, so I don't know if I should fight them and gain experience or if I should just leave them alone. Oh, that's mean. I'm not going to laugh. That's mean. Ah! Ah! Alright, well, if you needed more proof that I suck at games, there you go. I will be right back. No, undecorate. There we go. That's a little better. Okay, I don't move, right? Or should I move? Don't move, got it. No, not yet, okay. Nah, I'm not gonna fight. I don't feel like waiting around to spare it. Ooh, what's this? It's a door. It's a door. Can I go through the door? No? Are there mice in these mushrooms? What the heck is this place? Uh, I don't know. I guess it'll make sense later. That symbol though looks familiar. Wasn't that on the front of Toriel's dress? It'll, I don't know. It could be just like a pattern that's similar. I can't remember what it looks like. Okay, let's go ahead and go across the bridge. It's freaking cold here in Florida right now. Well, cold by Floridian standards. I think it's like 40 some odd degrees out right now. Because the sun hasn't come out yet. Which I know for a lot of you who are probably in like negative 25 degree lit weather, uh, it's probably not that cold in comparison. But I'm a big baby. Welcome to Snowden. Because it sounds like Snowden. The sight of such a friendly little town fills you with determination. We know. See. Also, I figured out that if I press C, I can bring up this. Which is good to know. I forgot I had a phone. Aww, dang it. I got so excited, it's not even funny. Tough glove. A worn pink leather glove for five finger- Five fingered folk, I can't say that. It's almost a tongue twister. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Do you have stuff I can buy? <laughs> Slap them! No, we already have a glove. And I'm gonna try to fight as little as possible in this game, so... I think I'm just gonna stock up on healing stuff. If I need more stuff, I can always come back here and get it. 
Huh? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works from with where you come from, but if I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. Alright, well, let's talk then. You want to know what we do here in Snowden? Grillsby Grillby's has food. The library has information. Come on. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up here one day and asserted themselves. The town has got a lot more interesting since then. back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp here in Snowden. Oh, and don't even think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow underneath the door, forget about it. Oh, was that the door that we saw back there? Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? This is a very wise bunny. Bye now. Come again sometime. I'm sure I will. What's the igloo for? Not that way. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Eh, maybe in a little bit. I haven't finished with this side of town yet. Welcome to Snowden. Snowden's premier hotel. One night is ADG. No, that's okay. Well, feel free to come back at any time. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? <laughs> can I still go up there? Oh, okay, I guess not. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Apparently everyone here has a southern accent. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's tradition to put presents underneath the decorated tree. So Christmas. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell, cause you're wearing a striped shirt. Oh yeah, the resemblance is uncanny. Anyways, this town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. <laughs> you have some interesting politics in this town. And some interesting monsters. Grub said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Is it because he's flaming? Is it because he's made of fire? Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, an elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Sounds like a real character. No pun intended. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally gonna make out with a fish. Just make sure you don't get catfished. It's playing poker against itself. <laughs> it appears to be losing. Capital's getting pretty crowded, so I heard they're gonna stop moving over here. 
hmm, I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip onto their butts. That would be me. <laughs> huh. Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. Alright, you do that, Big Tooth McGee. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Hell, I want new drinks and hot, hot guys. Uh, well, there's a pretty hot looking fish over there by the bar. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. Sounds like my kind of guy. Dog wise, not actual guy. Don't, never mind. Just never mind. I'm thinking about getting a spike collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. That it does. It. All right, well, we just got crop dusted by a dog. I think that's our cue to leave, guys. That and I don't have anyone left in here to talk to, so. Uh... Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget about our modern crises. Crises. <laughs> Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. Well, how do you know if you don't try? We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? It's a very good point. Let's see what the library has. The library. Come on. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know, the sign is misspelled. Then why don't you fix it? Doesn't really look like anyone's doing anything. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Sounds like a nice newspaper. <laughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Quite a prestigious accomplishment. That look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? To be honest, I don't know. I've never tried to do, I've never done a crossword. I could try one though, I guess. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. And then there's papyrus. No. Yeah, that's why. Not because I should mind my own business, but because it's illegal. No, oh, but it looks so warm and cozy. I can't go inside. And you're locked. Okay, I should have seen that coming. Alright, I guess we'll go check out over here. Then again, maybe not. Where'd the music go? What is with this pattern? What is going on? I- Oh, it's getting thicker. I can't see. Uh, uh... It'll stop me, right? Or I'll fall into the river. It stopped me. I can't move. Papyrus? Human. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like... The joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings? They must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer, for I, the great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member 
of the royal god. Oh snap, we gotta fight with the pirates. Oh man, I guess we'll just have to do that in the next episode, guys. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye! Cliffhanger! Woo!